Auger System Troubleshooting, today on Pellet Tech Talk. This video showcases more advanced troubleshooting and assumes existing knowledge of the diagnostics menu. See our other online resources or consult your operator's manual for more detailed instructions. Before attempting any of the following troubleshooting steps, ensure that the hopper is empty and that the power has been disconnected from the stove. This is the auger system for all variants of the HP21, HP22, HP50, and HP61 series stoves. The HP54 and HP55 use a different style of auger system that will be covered in another video. The auger system consists of an electric motor, gearbox, and U-bracket assembly, a round bottom plate with an inserted bottom bearing, a set screw, an auger bit, and a top bearing. If you have not yet identified the cause of the feeding problem, see our feeding troubleshooting video for more general tips. If the problem has been identified as an auger-related fault or jam, there are a few ways to proceed. 1. Agitation of the housing. Depending on pellet quality and moisture content, a sawdust buildup can occur within the cylindrical auger housing, which can lead to jams in extreme cases. Oftentimes, these buildups can be broken up and cleared out using simple agitation. To attempt to clear a sawdust buildup, use a rubber mallet or block of wood and strike the housing several times from the top and from the bottom. You can also fish a metal wire, coat hanger, or long-handled brush up the drop chute from the front to agitate the sawdust at the top of the auger. 2. Agitation of the auger bit. If the previous point failed to clear the jam, then proceed to remove all four of the 4mm Allen screws that secure the U-bracket to the bottom flange plate. Now from below, twist the motor back and forth a few times. This will twist the auger bit up inside the housing and hopefully break up and dislodge the cause of the jam. Many times, this simple procedure will solve your issue. 3. Divide and Conquer By separating the auger motor assembly from the internal auger bit, you can distinguish whether the problem lies with the motor or if you have a jammed auger bit. With the four U-bracket bolts removed, loosen the 5mm set screw that binds the auger bit to the top motor shaft. The motor assembly should now freely drop away from the auger bit. Now try spinning the auger bit by hand. If there is no jamming, the bit should freely spin in either direction. If the auger bit appears to freely spin, you can try powering the stove back on and activating the auger using the diagnostic menu. If the top post does not spin slowly while the auger feed indicator is shaded, this could indicate a problem with the auger motor. 4. Removal of the auger bit. In cases where the auger bit is severely jammed, you may need to uninstall it. Loosen and remove all four of the 4mm Allen screws from the bottom round plate, then pull the entire assembly directly down and out. Watch for the upper bearing, which may fall down during this process. You will want to inspect the housing, both the upper and bottom bearings, as well as the auger bit to ensure nothing was damaged. The housing should be relatively clean, and the bearings should roll or glide smoothly without catching. Make sure that the flighting around the bit is welded and intact. 5. Reassembly once everything has been inspected and verified working, and any buildup or jam has been cleared, reassemble the auger system. With the upper bearing in place, slide the auger bit and round plate into position and secure it into place with the 4mm screws. Before securing the auger motor, ensure that the auger bit still freely spins inside the housing. Now slide the motor and bracket assembly up, making sure that the flat side of the top post lines up with the set screw. Secure the 4mm screws to the bracket flange, and then tighten down the 5mm set screw. And that's it. You're all set. Thanks for watching. Until next time on Pellet Tech Talk.